All right, friends, I'm sitting here with my iPad, some hot bean juice, and your questions. I have the K2 Plus door open because it's so reflective when I shut it. You can see my monitor, my camera, my lantern, and all the shit in my room. It's okay, YouTube's policy says I can say bad words after seven seconds. That's a little weird, no? But here we are. First up, yes, this is the new Creality logo, and yes, I did print this on the K2 Plus. Stopping time for heating nozzle chamber heat bed. That's a great question. I haven't timed it. I could stop to time it for this video, but that would probably add a good 30 minutes to the whole process of making this video. It's the 24th, I need this video done today, so I won't do that. But I will add that to my short content schedule. However, however, I can say I've been happy with the heat up time for the bed and the nozzle. I have found the nozzle heats up quite quickly. If you are familiar with the ceramic hot ends of the V3s in the K1 series, I would expect similar times to those. Multi-material and print quality pushing the temps heated chamber. I haven't messed with the heated chamber yet. I've only done the sample files included in the printer from Creality and they came very nice. I'm pleased with the quality and have a good feeling going forward. However, I will be testing the crud out of this machine. Sound comparison in decibels between K2 and his sister is the K1 K1 Max. I find the K2 to be quieter than the K1 and K1 Max, but we'll put that on the video schedule as well. Value over the K1 Max. K1 Max is my favorite printer on the planet. It's huge, it's fast, it's dependable, and the print quality is so clean. The K1 Max is fantastic. <sighs> but this has the CFS. This has a bed that's so big, it enables you to print things that most other 3D printer owners can't print. How much is that worth to you? And that's the answer. And no, that's not like a sly answer of saying, the value is better of the K2. I'm literally saying, how important is the color and the size to you? If those two things are important, there's only one answer. If they're not, K1 Max is still your boy. Keeping in mind, K1 Max has a very nice 300 by 300 bed, and that enables you to print a lot. You really have to need size to need this printer's print bed. The length of cables and options to put the CFS on the top or the sides. Oh boy. I had a conversation with Creality about this. They weren't terribly supportive of my belief that there will be a demand to put the CFS on the side. They believe that having the CFS on the side will be more problematic for less experienced users than the CFS on the top. I 1000% disagree. It's easier to access easier to work with. I have experience with Bamboo AMS systems on the side of the printer working fine. Uh, on the side gives me access to the top panel, allows me to crack it for some cooling, allows me to look into the printer. There are so many reasons mounting the CFS on the side is better, especially on a machine that when you add the CFS is like 12 feet tall. So to answer the question, it ships with 45 centimeter and 100 centimeter cables. Those cables only support top mounting the CFS. However, I've been sent pictures from a super genius using the included couplers and tubes to position the CFS on the side. Also, Creality tells me if you buy the CFS individually, it will come with the cables required for side mounting and the cable will be available for purchase eventually on their store. I requested one, I have not seen it yet. We may have to wait a touch. Print quality, please. I've only printed the test files. I know that's not the answer you want, but with an ever moving embargo, I had to put the K2 aside for a bit. That said, with the test files I did, I'm very pleased with the print quality and I have good confidence that it will be very high. I will be testing that further. Stay tuned right here. Can the door be switched size? No. Can the door open past 45 degrees? Somewhat. Speed of the CFS load and unload. I want to say it's very similar to the Bamboo AMS. Filament spools load up and are detected in about six seconds. However, I notice when you boot the K2 Plus, the CFS checks every single spool before allowing you to use the machine. 
This takes up some time and I'd like to see Creality fix that. How does the NFC tag work on the side of the machine? So you've got the CFS and you've got your spool holder. The spool holder allows you to print from a spool outside of the CFS. However, the CFS has NFC readers that can detect each spool of filament. The spool holder does not. So Creality solves this by including an NFC reader on the side of the machine. You simply hold the spool to the machine, it will beep, and then you can put the spool on the Creality K2 Plus. The K2 Plus will now know which spool is on that spool holder. It's quite ingenious, very easy to do, and it does work. Would you be able to provide measurements of the exhaust fan on the K2 Plus? Is it single or dual exhaust? It is dual exhaust. There are two carbon filters, each with their own exhaust fan. Looks like three and a half inch exhaust ports on the K2 Plus. Can you show us the size of the K2 Plus using a banana for a reference? Yes, I can. Is it possible for you to mention to Creality that they do not have heat chamber temp as an option to set in any of their calibration print settings? The engineer said, thanks for the feedback. However, there is no good cavity temperature calibration solution. It is recommended to choose the correct material template. Have they fulfilled the objective of releasing a printer superior to the Bamboo Lab? Here's the thing guys, this is just a tool. The Bamboo Lab X1C is just a tool. It's important that the tool functions and does what the tool is supposed to do. However, a better hammer, a better nail, doesn't make you a better carpenter. Better skills and the ability to use the better hammer and better nail make you a better carpenter. The same goes with 3D printing. I can still today print a quality item that's sellable on an Ender 3 Pro. You can too. All that matters is the K2 Plus works. It doesn't have to be better or worse than the Bamboo product. It simply has to deliver the functionality they have advertised. And that is, with proper usage, the ability to create clean, successful, multicolor prints with this printer. So far, in my experience, that answer is yes. So, rather than engage in a pissing contest, just like photography, where photographers believe that next body, that next flash, that next hot light, that next lens, that's gonna make me a great photographer. It won't. Your skills will make you a better photographer. And if your skills can be combined with better hardware, then you can create better work, but only if you have your skills. The same goes for 3D printing. The K2 Plus is not necessarily better or worse, than a Bamboo Lab printer. A Bamboo Lab printer is not necessarily better or worse than a Creality printer. They do many things similarly and some things differently. It's up to you to decide what you think of how both systems work, how you feel about their ecosystems, whether or not you need the massive size or not, and make those educated decisions to marry your skills with the 3D printer. But please focus more on making your 3D printing skills better rather than chasing that better 3D printer. Please do some shorts on the K2, however long they are. Remind me of what I'm missing, cry emoji. As you wish.